Uh, yes, sir. Uh, the student will talk now, sir. So good morning, sir. So for now, we have studied how to start a new project and uh, how to do the work breakdown structures and uh, to do uh, schedule and uh, <coughs> put the budget in, enter the budget. Say your mute, sir. Sorry, uh, Abhishek. Uh, then my question is: uh, Did you understood what is project management? What is project planning? Yes, sir. Anyone? Anyone can uh, respond. Sir, uh, good morning, sir. Good morning, Ajay. Yes, sir. Uh, the things we learned in this course was like uh, basically how to do. Uh, um, on yeah, tell me. Your voice was a little breaking. Can you repeat again? One second, sir. Yeah, please. And uh, like how to uh, take on project? How to uh, software? And uh, how uh, we learned about how enter. Uh, uh, course, sorry, project details on uh, yeah, the, and, uh, EPS, OES, and also uh, how to uh, implement, uh, uh, sorry, establish the uh, work, work breakdown structure. Wonderful. Okay, got to know. See, uh, uh, before sharing the screen, I want to say a few things about planning, project planning and project management. It is a wonderful subject, and each and every project needs to be planned properly and it has to be executed properly. Unfortunately, in India, there is uh, less importance uh, given and uh, Gulf countries, Middle East and other uh, European countries, they are very good in project management, especially here, uh, the project uh, due to that only the delays are happening because we are not following the project management uh, principles and we are not doing project planning, all these things. Uh, example. Uh, yeah, there are a lot of people after going to the ground, once they see the labor, they will check whether the drawings are available. It, it has to be done earlier or after reaching the site. Can anyone respond? After hitting the site, will oh, going you, to the site the drawings or uh, before going into the project, you will see that all the drawings are available. After then, you arrange the resources. Which one, how you will proceed? Oh, going to the site, sir. Yeah, that is uh, by using the proper method, methodology and uh, proper uh, systems. For that, uh, see, the softwares are helpful because if you do a house construction also, there are 40 to 50 activities are there. So uh, if you are doing an apartment complex having uh, 2,000, 3,000 houses, Definitely the software, what you are learning, the Primera and the, uh, the uh, other softwares also, MSP, and so many other softwares also, even using Excel also, people are tracking. Uh, these are helpful tools to monitor because once the activities are more, you will not have control to remember all these activities. So there should be a digital platform where it should give and highlight this has to be done after this. This activities has to be done like that. Some activities we can do parallel also. Some activities we have to do once one particular activity completed. After that only, uh, the next activity will start. So there is a cycle. Means uh, if you want uh, to do the slab concrete example in a site, if you are doing a ground floor slab concrete. On that time, uh, you might be uh, supposed to have the electrical conduits in the slab. So before that only you should have appointed electrical contractor and he should know the drawings, he should have the slab drawings and he has to work along with the civil engineer to do the things, it means he has to coordinate, that has to bring in the system itself, we have to consider that electrical work, before the electrical work, the drawing has to be available. So 
you have to follow the drawings okay uh, drawings and uh, for getting the drawings also you need to have a program because uh, all the drawings will not be available in day one with the company they may have be having a first architectural drawings once the architectural drawings are pleased then the structural drawings will come into the place that is called uh, so like this we have to break the project activities into so many things small things which can which each and every resource is a stakeholder for that that is called work breakdown structure we have to break as many as possible so if you go for a example i will tell you if you are purchasing a flat or constructing a house the payment happens in the stage wise only means uh, if you are giving outsourcing your work to others during the plinth he will get a payment before that uh, there is a activity mobilization on that time he will get an activity once the roof slab is completed he will get payment after that once the painting is completed he will get an uh, amount after that the balance amount he will get completion but uh, these are major these are called milestones okay a bank also banker also he will not be available if the project is of 8 months he may not uh, available for all the 8 months at the project sites to see uh, how much money is incurred how much work done and all that is done in stages only in each every stage he will come and he will inspect and he will release the payments those activities has to be in the schedule because we need money also for the construction we have to receive the money from the uh, customers see lot of projects they are uh, not going to invest entire money for the construction they will invest some money for the land procurement after them they will uh, invest uh, some money for getting the approvals after them they will go for sales of that apartment i am telling about residential they will go for the sales and they will acquire uh, money from the customers and they do the construction that is feasible otherwise you know getting uh, the things the customer will be restless Uh, if you uh, give uh, all the things construction then the construction also is not feasible because the people are not interested to invest money on the construction so the ideal way is like this only in the industry is happening even for the banks if you go for a industrial construction if you take uh, your uh, oragadam area all this uh, area a lot of in infrastructure and industrial projects are happening there also they secure loans from the banks okay to you to start any business even if a ola is constructing a factory or uh, anyone constructing a factory whether they if they have own funds they will do with their own funds otherwise they will ask the banks for the loans or they will ask the investors means uh, the somebody else may be investor foreign investors may be coming they will be asking uh, my, how much money required when it is required for that we have to give the schedules you can't take all the money at the day one until no no sir i need a entire project cost at day one is it possible to get that money when you are uh, investors will be happy if you take money in the stage wise or if the take the entire money at a lot some response please audience i am asking you no sir Hmm? so that is no sir yeah see uh, the customers and the investor both are have, when uh, they will be happy means they get uh, the money according to the progress of the work okay so nobody is interested to get entire money at the because the interest rate also charges if you borrow the money again you have to make the emis so they take the money in the stage wise for that also we need a schedule in this kind of a plans we have to prepare using msp and premavera we have to show them first 3 months this is the money required next 3 months this is the money required next 6 months this is the money required so this kind of a schedule helps you lot okay i am just sharing my screen and uh, there i will uh, explain about what is scope of work it is a lengthy presentation i will try to accommodate for one hour after then uh, let us see in some other time i will cut is the screen is visible uh, someone uh, respond yes sir yes sir yeah project yes sir 
yeah understanding the project construction scope of work and the sequence of construction this is the one we should everyone should understand if all these inputs are available uh, making a schedule is very much easy so one is first is we need to understand the project who is the customer who is the client who is the consultant all this information you should be available these people are called stakeholders in your project some of the definition you should make a note of it also uh, who are all stakeholders this is a typical interview question who are all stakeholders in a project means you have to tell client customer and consultants and apart from this the designers also will be there and end user end user is called customer okay you got it can we go to the next uh, point Yes, so yeah next is type of project which kind of a project you are working what is the nature of work and there are different types of contracts anyone can say what is the different types of contracts available in the civil industry civil electrical mm, that is a different trades types of contracts means whether it is a item rate contract or a lump sum contract or a fixed price contract a cost plus contract like this see item rate contract is widely used uh, in the construction industry uh, you go to supermarket na no? all, all of the people will go to the supermarket na no? once in a while yes sir yes sir yeah there you take all these things in your basket you will take all the items so then you come to the cashier and there you will show the products and he will do the scanning and he will according to the number of units and the description of the item and he will uh, the price is already fixed he will give you the bill correct or not yes sir no yes sir that is a typical item rate contract see when you go to a construction contract also there are so many items from excavation to painting each and every item will be having a quantum that is a scope of work you multiplied by your price that price depends upon the location and various other factors also how much quantity you are doing if you buy small quantity the price will be high or less small quantity means uh, low price only no sir no that is cost what you are telling is cost price i am telling if you buy one pen the cost may be 10 rupees if they are, uh, if you are purchasing 1000 pens will it be the same price is will be, he will be quoting we might get a discount yeah same because of the large quantity if you are constructing a small house the price will be little more and then if you are constructing mass houses if you are doing a project the price will come down he will ask when you meet any vendor he will ask sir how much you want it any product anywhere if you go they will ask first is quantum how much what is the scope how much cubic meter of concrete you are going to pour how much tiles you are going to purchase how much material that is in your schedule also while making schedules scope that is quantum there is a column you have to fix it based on the quantity only the price will vary okay it may be the variance will be there okay so the we have to any time we should have the quantification done for the project if you are constructing houses you should read the drawings and understand what is my scope of work how much concrete slab concrete i have to do how much foundation concrete i have to do see entire structure there may be different uh, grades of concrete not necessary it should be same grade of concrete foundation may be different grade and then the slabs may be different grade and the flooring may be different grade concrete why there are different grades can anyone say we can do a entire structure with the same grade of concrete no so no sir the the substructure requires higher grade of concrete sir as we go uh, to the superstructure uh, the grade even if the uh, if the grade is higher then it is waste of I mineral mean, because it is not needed in those uh, areas Uh, no grade is also no. in. Yeah, yeah, you are right, hundred percent. See, according to the purpose of the place, means uh, whether it is actually required or not. Okay, if it is required, what design is for the foundation? What is the grade given? It may be you know, once the structure is growing, yeah, yeah, according to the purpose, where it functions, maybe the slab may require different grade. 
so uh, the beams and columns may be the, the price of the concrete also varies okay you can't take a higher grade for everywhere then your project price will go up so exactly what is the design says what is the design structural engine that is called optimization even in projects you can see uh, the if there is a 10 floors the uh, ground floor may be having a heavy reinforcement in between third or fourth floor it may be having little less reinforcement compared to the ground floor and if you go to the 10th floor the reinforcement of the columns may be very less why they are making like this to reduce it maybe from the ground okay, it may be going for yeah. no from the ground floor it may be 32 mm maybe at the top floor at the 10th or 15th floor it may be 16 mm okay because the load transfer happens like that not necessary to put a uniform seam or 38 uh, for that only uh, any project requires engineers okay uh, to check all these uh, things properly done or not. If you go to a mastery or a mason who is constructing a house, he may be using a, uh, by his own experience. He may be constructed 10 years before or five years before some way, some house. Based on that only, he won't conduct a soil test report also. He will directly do the construction. He will say, sir, uh, for 10 feet, I will give one column. And uh, for one column, he will give this many bars. Whether that is sufficient, whether it is uh, over, or whether it is less than the design, they enter because uh, if you take uh, the entire uh, life savings uh, people are investing in the house. So we should be careful while doing the construction, whether it is how many years it will be there. Not necessary if the design says 16 mm, I will provide 32 mm. That is not correct. The life of the structure is not going to increase if you put 32 mm. What is design you have to satisfy? How many years that? uh particular house is designed for or particular structure is designed for after then there are a lot of apartments after 20 years 30 years they may again reconstruct also you got it or not so here we should understand what is the quantum quantum is required scope is required we have to evaluate quantification so the engineer should be in if you are in a project planner role or project management role you should be understanding what is my scope of work how much quantum i should do based on that only the schedule will happen the duration is decided the cost is decided and the next about the contract i told different types of contracts are there so we should know which type of contract we are following based on that only the payments will happen Okay, if you are using the item rate contract, then based on the how much our quantity is completed, uh, the engineer will go and inspect the site, how much uh, already uh, works are completed, and he will take the measurements at site, he will make the payments. He will recommend for the payments. In the same, uh, this thing, if it is uh, uh, with the bank, the bank will come here. So, sir, I won't take measurements and all. I will just see that which stage whether uh, the plinth is completed whether the floor is completed whether the finishes is completed based on that he will give the payment okay the pay types of contract helps to understand how we are getting the funds for the project okay you got it yes sir then you, then you go to the next point yes sir and you should know about your project location also where the project is there because uh Based on that, only the logistics, where the workers accommodation is there, from where if the project is away from the city, the workers may be have to travel uh, to the location. So daily traveling is not possible. For them, you can give a accommodation at the project itself so that the works will happening fast. So while doing the planning itself, because there you are mentioning the time, duration, and the productivity, all these things. Sir. For that, you should understand the entire project location, where it is, and uh, how the logistics are there, the cement, where it is coming, concrete uh, location of the RMC, location of the other facilities, where and all available, workers' accommodation, uh, all these things you should know so that it will be helpful for the planning. And the next one is master plan. See, uh, the, if your project is coming to nearby your area, if it is a residential project or a if it is a residential project or industrial project or any project, these days projects are done in phases. Maybe the first phase, maybe they may complete for some time. After then, they will allocate the land for second and third phase also. 
okay that is called future expansions if you see now the chennai airport is under construction already the earlier airport already it got exhausted they don't have enough lands over there okay so they are identifying a land to construct the airport one more airport so there is a challenge also is there because if they could have thought about the planning means uh, future planning they could have taken a larger land earlier itself and now two different airports two different locations not at all required if you see bangalore what happened bangalore airport uh, they have constructed uh, around uh, 2005 and uh, after then uh, they on the time itself they planned uh, around uh, 4000 acres they have bought the land and uh, they constructed phase one means uh, 2008 they completed phase one for four uh, around a four uh, million four lakh square feet of uh, passenger terminal building and one uh, runway after 10 years they found uh, this is uh, not sufficient on the time while they are constructing uh, it was sufficient now after the 10 to 15 years they found uh, now that capacity addition has to be done so they are not going to the new place to construct they already have the lands in the existing airport itself so they are just doing the capacity addition means one more runway they are constructing and a terminal building one more terminal building they are constructing so all these facilities even a metro they have planned the metro is going to connect below the airport itself so the below the terminal building the person who comes from the metro immediately he can get into the airport directly like that the planning is being done so the projects are done in phases only so here Chennai now they are going for a new location they are uh, identified 4000 acres maybe on that all the 4000 acres they may not construct in your first uh, this thing itself they may take around 500 acres on that they will construct maybe after 15 years or 20 years another 500 another 500 like that they are going to construct that is called future planning so one should know about the master plan so that they can accommodate the future also on the master plan itself uh, to by 2020 like uh, it should be like this 2030 like should be there uh, 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 by 2050 the plan will be like that so this is accommodated in the master plan this is not known to everyone this is known to the government what they are going to do how they are going to do based on that only the runway is fixed the terminal building is fixed the access road is fixed all these things even in a real estate project also if a shoba mantri or any of the builder they are constructing they are constructing around uh, maybe 25 acres or 5 acres or uh, 30 acres they will do in phases only first they will construct one one tower once everything sold out they will construct one more after then they will keep on adding the towers so these this is called a master plan master plan they will be having a, their own plan on that they will say sir first two blocks only we are constructing rest five blocks we will construct later if you want you will purchase here so the projects are done in phases even the highway i will tell a simple example in, uh, in front of your college uh, the, uh, the national highway is running earlier they constructed uh, it was a two lane maybe around 25 years before after then they made into four lane now they are making into six lane and eight lane also depends upon the usage and the requirement the projects are done in phases maybe after 25 years another four lanes they may add up also for that on the time they will not buy the land now itself they will buy additional land and that land will be used for the construction so the projects are done in phases so master plan should be known after that the regular plans which area you are going to construct for that area only you will focus next one is a detailed area to be built already we have discussed detailed architectural plans you should have the architectural plans of the project every floor what is the architecture plan how the elevation will be all these things you should know you should be good in enough uh, any planning in your uh, project management guide you should uh, be good in understanding the things by seeing the drawings nobody will come and explain to you okay the, pro the communications happens in the project is through the drawings only so you should understand the drawings properly reading the drawings is very much important these days a lot of companies they have 
given their uh, information in their websites also you can go to the respective website like chennai airport or any these things you can find out how it is being done if you go to mahendra city also in a uh, near chengalpattu they have thousands of acres in phase wise they are developing some area they marked for the industrial use some area they given for it space some area they are given for residential like that only the planning happens so you should know about the master plan and present plan where they are going to execute the project that also you should know next is scope scope, uh, scope already we spoke by understanding the drawings only you can uh, get the scope of the work that is nothing but your quantities and uh, next one is items means what are the items required if you go through the drawing you can list out what are the items you need to work in the project from each and every item whether the flooring is vitrified or marble or granite whether wall carries a cladding all these things you can find out only from the drawing or from the bill of quantities there is a document called boq kindly write down these are important uh, terms you should know about next one is specifications you should know about the specification of the work uh, example there are uh, if you see uh, some of the materials you need to if you go to uh, doing a international project like airport and all lot of materials has to come from international uh, locations the aero bridges uh, if you see in the airport it has to come from german or so many other countries you should know about the specific specification from which country what are the materials are going to come for your project either uh, you are using a brick or you are using a solid block or a lightweight block that is the material specification this is given this is decided by the architects so you have to read the architectural drawings and understand the specification what material we are using where it is coming from how it has to be tested before it is going for the construction any doubts as of now can i proceed further Yes, sir. Yeah. So next is cost based on your specification and quantum of work only cost is decided. And these days, uh, these uh, tools used for the uh, capturing the cost and preparing the budget also. And uh, I hope uh, Mr. Vijay has already explained to you about the tools, cash flow management, all these things. And a time duration, time duration by previous experience only you can arrive at the time duration. It is. Uh, how the earlier project we have completed how much time it is taking so uh, present uh, project time also calculated based on the previous previous experience and as well as the quantum of uh, this uh, work how much work needs to be done nothing uh, time is uh, nothing but by quantity by productivity if you use you will understand the how much people required resources required and uh, based on that there is some logics involved by experience you will gain this see if you are going as a fresher for a project you are not going to do the uh, time duration calculation and all okay here you will be in a position somebody has prepared the schedule you will be monitoring that after gaining some experience you will go for the calculations of the duration and all because the duration calculation is a very critical and it needs experience also so after maybe three years or four years you will do by your experience itself and a specific technical requirements means what is the milestone about the milestone we already spoke what is milestone and all it is nothing but a stage wise payments required and which work when it has to be completed and the priorities what are the priorities some uh, in some of the project they may say sir i want this tower has to be completed this floor has to be completed first so that priorities we have to capture in the schedule and the quality requirements you should we should not compromise on the quality so we should uh, check each and every material which is coming to the project even the work what are happening in the project it has to be tested properly it means uh, it has to be validated and the sequence we have to follow and the next is infrastructure facility we should have enough infrastructure to do the work in the project that is nothing but your temporary infrastructure excuse me just to sharing the screen hello sir yes sir yeah, yeah. Just sharing 
Yeah, now it is visible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So you should have a better infrastructure facility. You should know the commercial terms and conditions, which is mentioned in the contract document. You should read the document. You should understand and local bylaws also. What is the statutory norms? What is the working hours? What is the minimum age of the labor you can uh, accommodate in your project? What are the basic amenities there to be provided in the project? All this information you have to know about in the project, whether it is night work is permitted or not. So all these things you should know while you are doing a project management. This information is available in the drawing. The first one is uh, who are the stakeholders in a project. A sample I have shown to you who is your client, who is your architect, who is your structural engineer. All these informations are available in the drawing. And who is the contractor? All this information available in each and every drawing and as well as in their contract documents also. So one should read about it so that you can understand, you can speak to the appropriate person who is involved. Uh, if you take uh, in this project, Bureau of Engineers is a structural engineer. If you ask uh, that person about architecture things, he will not respond also. You'll say, sir, I don't. So you should understand who is the architect, what are the queries you can raise with the architect, who is the client, who is the developer. There are so many stakeholders are there in the project, you should understand so that you will get an appropriate answer from them. And the contract, from the contract, you have to capture uh, some of the details. So one is uh, uh, what is the description of the contract, uh, whether it is which kind of a uh, here, if you see this contract is square fit basis and duration already mentioned. They want to hand over the project in 24 months. So you are scheduled, you have to fix it for 24 months, not later than that. Otherwise, your client will not accept it. Because he has committed to the customer within 24 months, I will complete the work. So appropriate technologies, you have to use it to get into, to deliver the project in time. And what is the contract value? All these things you have to understand. You have to take these inputs, okay? And construction, or if you take this particular project, uh, this is a group development project. Here, the scope is 352 residential units are there. And uh, there are uh, nearly 3,48,000 square feet of construction is happening. And uh, it is about still plus four uh, floors. And uh, in scope, if you can see, there is a foundation and a uh, core shell that is called a civil structure. The foundation means center, plate, uh, all these things. And core and shell is nothing but your RCC works up to brick and brickwork and plastic. This is called a core and shell. Lot of places, uh, if you take IT parks and all, a commercial buildings, core and shell only the owner will do. And the rest of the finishes and the internal flooring, layout arrangement, all the uh, furnitures and interiors, all these are done by the agency who is occupying. If Amazon is going to occupy, they will engage, the, uh, they will inform, sir, you just give me a floor plate only. I will do the internal layout according to my requirements. So each and every company may require different layouts so the finishes will be done accordingly either they will engage some other person or they will inform the owner sir give us the floor plate we will do all the finishing whatever we like whatever we wanted so like this only the contracts are broken into and internal services is nothing but your electrical plumbing and sanitary this simply is a residential building your structure finishes all these things are there and uh, civil infra civil is nothing but your uh, drains, uh, sewerage treatment plant, UG sump. You have to make the schedule also by in this heads only so that you can identify that you can track the schedules according. So, infra services or based on the BOK, if you plan the headings, that will be helpful. See this location plan, you should know about the logistics also where the project is there and uh, from the, where the uh, the bashing plant is there, where the steel will come, where the nearest, how the customers will come, all these things. You should be well acquainted to the places where the projects are happening so that you can easily plan your uh, 
resource, even the sand, the cement, all the raw materials you can source accordingly. Because uh, uh, if you take the raw materials from nearby resource, your cost will come down. If you are taking away from a uh, different place, then the cost will be little high. So this is a master plan, plan you can find out. There are some, uh, uh, this is a proposed site. You can find out uh, the here, if you see here, uh, this is uh, apartments here. They have made villas because somewhere uh, they have mentioned as a future development. So like this only, any of the master layout will be there. There will be a portion for future development. This is the proposed site like that they are making. If you see uh, this project is proposed on 18.7 acres, on that 5.58 only they are using for the construction rest they are uh, allocated for the future and villas okay this is an example picture i am shown to you in this uh, proposed site only the group development is happening in 5.58 that particular area only here blown up here and it is shown to you here the towers also each and every building they have given a nomenclature like a b c d e you can see a block b block c block d e f g not necessary all the uh, six blocks or seven blocks are constructed in a parallel plan they may first construct a and b once the sales and company work is uh, substantial work is over they may construct uh, c and d and e f also it purely depends upon the sales how they are doing. If they are confident enough to complete all the seven towers and they get the people, for that they do the market survey. Once the market survey is done, they will do this uh, planning. In this planning only, you have to understand from your sales team how the planning has to be done in a MSP or a Primavera, any of the software. So how you are going to do, whether you are going to do all the towers in parallel, or you will give some staggered dates. After completion of A, substantial completion, maybe 50% completion of A, will you do B or A and B will go parallel? All these things are done by the planning engineer. Okay. Any doubts as of now? Or can we proceed further? No, sir. No, sir. No, no sir. Okay. So this is the perspective view, the group development. You can find out here. And uh, typical, this is nothing but your scope. By understanding the drawings, you will find out in which block, how many floors, what is the square feet, and what are the different plans. Because they, uh, in each plan also there may be different. Two BHK, three BHK, single BHK, all these components will be there. We should understand uh, the configuration of each and every uh, unit also how it is there because you committed something to your customer same thing only you have to provide you are uh, giving a customer a two bedroom house and uh, after completion you say sorry sir I, I have single psk only means they won't accept okay so whatever uh, based on the plan only the work will happen based on the work only the delivery also should happen there should not be any mismatch i am not having this uh, apartment i will give other apartment like that you can't tell after uh, they are making the payment before making any payments or signing an agreement you can do anything not after that because in the agreement itself it is mentioned which flow which unit is that particular customer which block so all these things you should be aware of this is a typical floor plan unit this is a perspective view how it looks Uh, each and every area here also you should, you should know about why the plan is showing here also you can see the plan is having different colors according to the usage the flooring material also is different the living has different flooring material bedroom has different flooring material you can't uh, tell the your uh, say uh, supplier you send uh, the flooring material based on the drawing he can't do it because he is not a technical person the person who is sitting in the planning office you should know how much 
uh, for a bedroom which style is uh, required for washroom which style is required for a bedroom what kind of a door is required for toilet what kind of a doors is required you have to make uh, all these statements in excel and uh, then you have to make the costing and you have to update in the schedules also in because you are going to give the procurement schedule for the customers means the suppliers they have to see your schedule and send that their whole this kind of a uh, material flooring material we have to send at this date we have to send so based on your schedule only they will do the production of the doors of the floor material of the, everything even the blocks all these things they, once you give the schedule only they will make it you can't tell that sir you send me three lakhs uh, three lakh number of first solid blocks if you tell he will say mm, he will uh, he will say where you will uh, put all these blocks because in your site also in project site there will not be any place to put all the three lakhs material you have to take all the materials in a uh, staggered manner how the construction happens according to that you will get the material okay this may that is called material planning this also done in your ms project or primavera any of the software you have to make it based on your next three months or four months projection because every material is having a shelf life if you take cement the maybe three months or six months maybe it depends upon the duration how you are storing what is the manufacturing date they are providing cement if you take within three months you have to consume if you take some chemicals within a year you have to consume if you take uh, bricks all these things it has a uh, little time but unnecessary you can't stack in your site for that scheduling is important when which material is required these are see, uh, typical floor layout plans when you go to your project you should uh, before doing the schedule you should uh, read all these things understand what is the concept overall project you should know about it whether you need to procure material from india only or uh, from your place only or it has to come from other states uh, if they need any permits for that or uh, how much time lead time you should know about the lead time also if i order today when the material will come some material the steel it may take a two days or same day also they can deliver if you take some construction chemical they will say sir you have to tell me one week before because they have to produce and they have to send it like that you have to know about it which material when it is required next one uh, already we spoke about the specifications you should know about good in specifications so that if you know the specification only the proper material what you wanted it will come otherwise some other you will be thinking some material and uh, you will be ordering some um, other material there will be lot of rejection again no who takes care if the unwanted material comes to the site which is not uh, required to your project can you send them back you need a 8 inch block but you ordered a 6 inch block can you do it with 6 inch the 8 inch work anybody respond somebody respond sir. come again sir see you ordered some material okay as per the drawing uh, some, uh, some uh, dimensions they mentioned some sizes they mentioned but the material which received that site is not uh, matching that one so mm -hmm. on that case what you will do we cannot use it right sir yeah you can't send them back also you can't use it you can because the supplier will say sir whatever you mentioned in your purchase order uh, those things i'll send so we have to be good in specifications before dispatch only we have to check and we have to double confirm two times we have to confirm it whether the same material whatever we are ordered it is coming or not because uh, if you accept also your client won't accept the end user won't accept Sir, you have shown me this color in the marble, but now you are giving a vitrified tiling. This is not at all accepted. I won't take the plant. They will say, I won't take this product. You can't do a change uh, on your own. Okay. 
so whatever uh, committed whatever agreed only you have to do it this is about specification you should know about all the specifications which is used for the construction this is available in the drawings as well as in your agreement while doing the planning this is a very important document without specification without knowing the materials which you are using for the construction you can't make a material shaping and estimation is important each and everything you have to quantify it at the start of the project how many wc required how many how much cables required how much switches required how much each and everything how many doors required all these things you have to make a count at the starting of the project only you should estimate all these things and what are the amenities these days uh, the rera also is available there you can't compromise you can't tell that sir i have given in the browser now i can't execute like that you can't tell it because government is monitoring if it is a real estate project government is monitoring they are telling that whatever you are shown in the drawing or uh, whatever you shown in the catalog all these things you have amenities you have to provide for them so you should have the uh, utility list also what are the club rooms whether you are providing sewage there are some of the things which are mandatory which you can't avoid if you see rain water harvesting system your building should have the rain water harvesting system in the drawing it is not there sir but your local authority they may ask because in the plan sanction if you want to get on that only they will mention rain water harvesting system is required playground is required for a project and a water treatment plant is required what are the mandatory things you are you don't have any choice you have to provide it some of the things which is not mandatory for marketing purpose you are providing okay that also you have to account it how much required so another 10 minutes is there the next subject is a type of structure and sequence of construction i will take this particular session in another one day now you tell me if you have any uh, doubts in this can you speak i i will try to explain to you dear audience do you have any doubts as of now the topic we completed is understanding the scope of the project how it is important for doing the scheduling Mr. Vijay, they yes, don't, sir. Anyone is having any doubts? Sir? As of now, no, sir. Uh, no one is having any doubt. I think. Okay, fine. Okay. Actually, they are doing. Uh, I mean, up to scheduling, they know, sir. Uh, using Prime Vera. Yeah. So I yeah. need to start uh, that filters and uh, print reports, sir. That okay, fine, fine, fine. This is uh, see what you are teaching is a software. We, yes, for giving the software some inputs uh, basically engineers should know that inputs only i have given yes sir. doing the scheduling what are the things they should know it which helps to make the schedule proper yes sir okay yes sir yes sir so if you want any other session you can plan uh, may, maybe in a, uh, next week or sometime we can continue that other topic also so the sequence of construction also sure sir sure sir okay and so, yes sir yeah and uh, thank you sir thank you for your session sir thank you for your time yeah thank you sir thank you all the best and uh, do the things proper way there are good opportunities available lot of new projects are coming up and if you are doing nicely you can get into the works nice easily all the best and uh, vijay i wanted uh, this also to inform uh, that uh, yes, see we yesterday i shared a link you know that can be connected with your web page department web page and we can have a official we already have